Yeah, you know, everyone was saying how he is probably the best uh, surfer in waves under five to six foot. So anything over that, he's uh, sort of been struggling over the years. But I don't know, man. I think this kid is way too good not to be able to perform in these kind of conditions. I think it's only a matter of time before we see big results from him in ways of consequence, Joe. So very hard to make that decision, as now we'll see what happened to Felipe Toledo on his first wave. Yeah, I mean, uh, look how amped up he is. He's uh, pretty excited about conditions today. It's definitely going to play into Felipe's hands. Are we going to see some aerial maneuvers? One would have to say yes. Well, Pete, we're reflecting back on certain finals that have run in smaller conditions in the past. We'll watch this one with us, Pete. We got Toledo up. He's going to float the first section. Oh, he's springing into his turns. Down carve on the next strike. Now just driving through a layback carve. Toledo is inspired by these rampy conditions, and he will just coast his way into the beach and do the runaround. Toledo with a 3.33. How'd that second wave look from your angle, Pete? You know, we, we think about his aerial antics, but when he can do that kind of stuff um, in high-performance waves, he really is unbeatable. I mean, it's, uh, it's going to be a tough one if we see the conditions hold like this throughout the rest of this Pipe Masters. Thanks, Peter. Potts, how'd you like this turn through the inside? Uh, well, I mean, a searing maneuver. Pete talked about the fact that he has uh, really gotten better with his rail game. Obviously, no doubt about the fact that he's one of the best in the air, but... Uh, and then as the wheels started really turning at Jay Bay, he picked up better results got close to the top 10 and now we'll see a split peak we'll stick with Toledo on the left flying through the white water jamming it vertically always oh, so explosive through the slow parts of the wave and he'll step off on the inside so Toledo hoping to better a 3.33 on the left splitting it up with Josh Kerr yeah and I'll tell you what Josh Kerr got an absolute screamer there's a little backdoor barrel, so it's going to be an interesting uh, situation to see how the judges score those two ways. One more high performance surfing, the other one re really what we come to uh, Hawaii to see is the big beautiful backdoor barrels. Kersey just setting this one up, you can see him moving forward, now he slows himself down. Not a very deep tube, but a nice little cover up. And uh, he's got to finish off on the inside here, over that super shallow reef. And we've seen in that last heat uh, a couple of boards broken and uh, on the split peak Felipe, to Felipe Toledo on his back end just lightning fast you heard from Strider he opted to go for a shorter board a little bit more high performance Felipe Toledo always spicy when it comes to uh, his backside surfing and that's what he's become famous for just getting so many completions last year when he's in the title race he had so many full rotations now we're going to split it up again. Toledo pulling it at the barrel of pipe. Makes it out and gets out of there. Melling now up in his first wave. Comes off the top there. See, still wearing the knee brace. Yeah, Portugal was on fire, wasn't it, Joe? Got some great waves there. Let's have a look at Adam Melling's opening ride. You can see that front knee strapped. Nice clean surfing from Adam Melling. A big fan of the way this guy surfs. Nice, just clean, powerful. No messing around. Just puts that board on the rail. And then the split peak. Have a look at this. Philippe Toledo. A rare backside barrel here today. Not going to see a lot of that due to the north swell. But that was a little nugget right there. So Philippe Toledo keeping these options open, Joe. A lot of guys had just uh, one way, good wave and then didn't have a backup score and it was enough. I feel like that's what happened in that heat. I started with a pretty good score and then I was like, oh, I'll be plenty wave I'll get a backup score and then and then I broke my board I was doing the run around I was nearly like dying like super out of shape actually had a heat together Jack and Zeke at sunset and it was really surfing for that tenth spot before the QS came to a close let's get cut off with Josh Kerr here at Potts uh, yeah Kersey on a nice little wave here a couple of good little turns just trying to get his momentum going and as you heard from uh, Jeremy right there that in section when you crack that lip there's got to be about a foot of water over that reef, so you've got to be very careful. The water line there with his board. They already made a couple of board changes in this one. And during the break, Josh Kerr got this way, Potts. Yeah, Josh Kerr just, uh, you know, milking that inside section. He, he's got uh, third priority, so he's got the freedom to roam. And I think a, a good move right here from Josh Kerr. Beautiful wave. And watch this last turn right here. Bangs it up into the lip. 
and fights his way out. So Josh Kerr on a comeback trail right now. For him, he's getting better and better. Start with a 4, then a 5-8-3, then a 6-2. As we now check in with Felipe Toledo, live off the roof, a huge float, he'll beat the section. Big roundhouse, he'll get a little bit lost in the rebound, so he's out of there. Because he's actually devoted so much time to the fans as well after his heat. He'll stick around for two hours until the last guy's gotten something, you know, a, a signature. Looks like Kersey up and right, or Melling, sorry, down there on a really nice little heater down the line. Cover up, comes out big, hack, wow. Beautiful surfing right there from Mello. And now coming in hot here to the Pipe Masters, ready to compete as we check out these big sections that Felipe's been loving pots. Yeah, I mean, this, this, is, this wave just suits his style of surfing, doesn't it? And uh, as the boys were talking about earlier, just those rail-to-rail -rail maneuvers that are just getting better and better from Felipe. You know, he was a skinny little kid a few years ago. Now he's starting to bulk up. He's starting to get stronger. We're starting to see way more powerful moves from the kid. We're going to close this one out. Felipe Toledo will catch this wave, which will just count right before the horn. But he's not really worried about a big score. He's already taken the win, so a nice, easy backside reverse on his way to the beach. Current world number nine flying into round three action here at the Billabong Pipe Masters. Kersey left chasing a 6.15, and Adam Melling ends up chasing a 7.47. Felipe always looked like he was going to be solid in this heat. Even had time to make a board change and held his lead throughout the matchup. Yeah. A well-structured heat, you know, starting off strong, getting the, the ball rolling early, I think is the way to go.